just, I'm just fixing my kickstand. It just busted again, the leg. Yeah, all right, I just gotta wrap it around this thing. Yeah, all right, hi. What's up, guys? Okay. <coughs> so, you guys, we have a whole bunch of people. Yeah, who healed the teenager within. All right. Who's this reading for? I'm looking at the rock star deck right there. Okay, Aries just flipped. All right. Uh -huh. I'll take this and maybe we'll clarify with this. We'll see what it says. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We're ready. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's been working on something. Okay. Here's what we got. This is that Curtis 92 thing. Whatever that was. Yep. The big teenager issue. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. All right. Had to get... Uh, the vulture came in. Picked it all away. Yeah. Uh-huh. Total death and rebirth. All right. Major part of this person's awakening was healing a wound. Uh, mm-hmm. All right. Uh, that happened during their teenage years. Okay. So, what? Right when I sat down... I started hearing my spirit guides were telling me what decks to use, and I'm like, okay, slow down. Yeah, so this is how it went down. I heard the empath deck, the super small slam, the island, and the past life. I heard, and then I heard, uh, yep, yeah, this was, I saw this card in my mind's eye. These are the artists, the entertainers, the performers, the virtuosos, and the poets. Darling, the poets. Right when I say that, I look, I look right at the Divine Feminine Showgirl. Yes, call the mermaid. Okay. Let's get a message from the Divine Feminine Showgirl. Yes, we may have actors coming in here. We may have a mystery novel writer. Something. But they seriously have to call. Uh-huh. They've surrendered. Yes, it's the masculine. Yes, he surrendered. All right. He's understood. Yes, that this divine feminine showgirl, her life is filled with perfect synchronicities. Oh, yeah. Right when I turned this on, you guys. I saw one, two, three, four on the clock. Yeah. Uh, so, so, this might be, this person might be seeing all sorts of synchronicities right now. This masculine could be seeing them. Yeah. Uh-huh, they surrendered, okay? Yep, they just finished doing a bunch of work, okay? They may have gotten a huge Super Bowl slam. All right. Release. Yeah. All right, so remember, we get our Super Bowl slams. They come in. Yep. Uh, so we can, boom! Shake off all the negative energy. Yeah, just release it. And now the Super Bowl is bouncing back up. Mm -hmm. what? So you can fill your vessel up with the light. Yeah. Okay. So it, there was this big thing. Yeah, it may have had to do with death. I hear faces of death. I hear Fangoria. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do, yeah. Uh, they could have got really got into horror movie vibes, that kind of stuff. Uh, mm, fucked around with the dark arts a little, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. All right. These people are being called upon to do their divine purpose. These are light workers. All right. Right, so if you this is this is the arts, it's the artists, yep, uh, and that covers a wide range actors, musicians, uh, video game designers, video games are part of this whole tribe, yep, the engineers, all that kind of stuff, yep. I hear go hand in hand, 
I go, I hear go hunt and hunt. Okay. All right. So I'm going to read you. Yeah, you guys, I looked up. I watched the reading back, and I'm like, oh, yeah, Rat Man. And I'm like, what is Rat Man? So I looked it up. Uh, I just Googled it. And it is. It's, it's an old horror movie. Rat Man. Yep. So I went, and I'm like, oh, let's hear what it's about. So I went and I read about it on Wikipedia. Yeah. And right when I read about it, started reading it, yep, transmissions came, started coming in. So, oh, uh -huh. two of pentacles, ambition. All right. So, all right. So here's the transmission. So I'm just going to tell you the transmission, show you the cards, and just see where this takes us. Wikipedia. Ratman. Plot. Two models. Marlias. Choices. And Peggy. Villagent. Villagents. Mm -hmm. The village. Okay. I see M. Night Shyamalan's The Village. Uh, uh huh. This person, once they were blind, now they see a veil got removed. All right. Vigilance. Yep. Yeah. All right. I hear, are you there, God? It's me, Margaret, Peggy. Okay. Caribbean Island. Photo shoot. and her body seemed eaten by rats. Gratitude. Death. And rebirth. My life is filled with perfect synchronicities. The Empress, Nurture. Terry arrives on island. Mm -hmm. Tell us about release and surrender. Yes, we have a musician here. They're ready to do the work. They want to release and surrender with this Divine Feminine showgirl. They see that their life is filled with perfect synchronicities. All right, tell us about it for Aries. Mystery novel writer. Met at airport. You have the power to make your dreams come true. Uh-huh. All right. Well, let's see what your past life is saying. Health. All right. This person is good. For the other person's uh, spirit. I hear spiritual health. Okay. Spiritual health. Mental health. This person has ascended in vibration. This person may have struggled with depression. Something like that. All right. They had to have this total death and rebirth. So their wish fulfillment could come in. So they could get unstuck emotionally. All right. This is, they've been carrying this thing around forever. Uh-huh. Well, since 92. Yeah. All right. Hmm. 
Meta Airport starts to investigate. Mm, let's see what this has to say. Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Queen of, oh, excuse me, the Page of Swords. What? Will you be my queen? I see somebody getting down on one knee and presenting, yes, presenting the Ace of Swords. Somebody may have uh, been keeping a secret, getting a bunch of things together. Yeah, they may say, hey, you want to go from here to over there? Uh-huh, the little white dove's coming into play. All right, somebody may have seen somebody get bullied, picked on. Somebody may have been picked on as a teenager, that kind of thing. Somebody may have been picked on by a grown adult, vibing out some teenager vibes. Somebody may have seen it and said no more, something like that. All right, I just looked at pine cone, human enlightenment. All right, well, let's hear about it for Aries. Meanwhile, find other corpses in the jungle. Oh yeah, we've got lots of jungle love. Oh. We have lots of jungle love. Welcome, comfort, receive, lodging, dwelling. Oh, uh, this is the beef. Yeah, working on his lodge. Mm-hmm. He's going to come forward and do this thing now. He's got all these options. He's been getting all this stuff ready. He's going to say, do you want to come to my home? And it looks like the person's going to do it. All right. We also have the beginning of a brand new thing, a new experience. All right. Searching for help. Aries. Stopped at isolated house. Here comes peace. All right. This is a peaceful, calm, fun thing. All right. Friendship, love, reconciliation, truth, calmness, joy, and your soulmate. All right. So now that this big Super Bowl slam happened, yep, and these people released the curse in 92. They were able to fill back up. Now I hear my girl and me in 93, okay. Now I hear, yep, by Lucero, uh-huh, okay. So it's around that time. This would be, uh, for me, this is like, uh, right at senior year of high school, after high school, going to college time, if you went to college, something like that. It might be college might have to mean something. All right. Well, let's hear about it. Um, I went, yeah, there's all this ascension and vibration. Yeah, these people went through the metamorphosis. They had to... Uh, release this like death vibe mm -hmm. this just low reptilian vibe that they have been carrying i am making a new decision for my future despite the decisions i made in my past yeah wonderful this person may be deciding to live a clean life this person may have realized they may have fucked around in the dark arts a little bit now they want to shed that they were able to shed it whatever it was they ascended in vibration yep the quicksand was no longer sucking them in yep and when it released when it opened up and released yep they were able to what yeah all oh, right when i said that thunder Oh, do you hear that? Thunder, and I just looked at death. Oh, look at this. Oh, wait, weird. There's a weird one in here. Yeah, I'll look at it. Scorpio, there it is. Death. All right, well, let's see who else pops. Do you hear that thunder rolling? Pisces. All right. We have gratitude coming in with rebirth. 
All right. This person may have shed. They may have had a big storm roll through. Uh, something. They may have cried. They may have... Whatever that happened, there was a release happened, so the anchor of hope could come. Steadfastness, womb, new adventures, new experiences, voyage, and trust. So, spirit drops in the anchor of hope when you're in really turbulent waters. Yep, you fucking pull that motherfucker up and sail on to smoother waters. Yep. Spirit's bringing in a whole new thing. Yeah. Whoever this person was, these people. Yeah. They're getting your karmic rewards for doing the work. They may have had a dragon slayer, may have came and grabbed them. Uh huh. Ascended them up. If, if that's the case, the feminine may have been a dragon slayer, came and ascended up with them. Uh, uh huh. All right. If not, they both could be dragon slayers, and their divine purpose is to. Uh, so the dragon slayers come. What happens is there's two kind of dragons, good ones and bad ones. The bad dragons just come and grab you. Just a regular person living their life come and grab you and fly down to the gates of hell with you. Uh huh. And they give you a super bad addiction. And they. Uh, crazy depression, uh, all that kind of stuff, yeah, and you're just milling around at the gates of hell, yeah. then your tribe spiritually comes together, feels you there, yeah, the oldest soul empaths get activated, all right, this might be star seed stuff, yeah, Right, because all these people that are milling around the gates of hell, being like, What the fuck? Yeah, uh, these people are divinely blessed. Okay, they're really good at something, and they may have a, a large following, uh, a loud voice, something. Yeah, okay, now I hear Africa. Yep, yeah. uh huh. The Angel City Coral, Coral, Coral. Uh huh. Hard coral. Yep. Yeah. yeah, there's a major purge cleanse going on. Uh huh. Alright. Okay. I totally can't remember the same thing I was talking about. Okay, that just flew and hit that. I hope I caught it. I don't know if I caught it. What is it? Here I am. The King of Swords. I move forward in spite of setbacks. Yes, this is the King of Swords, yeah? Remember? He was watching and flipping out, yeah? Here he is. I am. I accept my divine mission. I move forward in spite of setbacks. Yes, he's ascended. He had his big slam, the cleanse. All right. Uh-huh. All right. So let's get back to the story. All right. Stopped at isolated house. Discover landlord. Scientist. The golden mirror. Self-absorbed narcissist. One-sided relationship. Love bombing. Okay created a ferocious mutant half ape half rat oh my god a narcissist what sword in the rose clarity truth revelation solidarity force honor protection and power the sword This person, yeah, may have had, held on to some very low vibes, yeah, been stuck in that teenage, uh, mm hmm yeah, oh, isn't that thunder rolling, that's pretty sweet, 
Yeah, okay, now I'm thinking of, uh-huh, Lane, yeah. Uh-huh, what the fuck, Lane? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, the guy who showed everybody his high school binder. All right. Kind of looks like this, dude. Okay. Yep. Not today. Not dealing. Hurt. Avoidance. Conversation. Call. Person. Boundaries. Still angry. All right. Yeah, this King of Swords may have had a super temper. Yeah, uh, may have put things off, may have been, uh, I hear social, I'm socially exempt, okay? They may be socially exempt. They may not want, they may just like being around their own energy, their own vibe, all right? Uh, they may be looking for an assistant, a partner, a secretary, something. All right, so remember when we watched that video, and well, I can't remember what reading it was. He shared his high school yearbook, and it was like, totally our tribe's vibe, yeah. Everybody was fucking dicks, yeah. And everybody was fucking cool at, at the same time. Everybody had their own issues. Everybody was processing their own stuff, yeah. Uh, I'll try to find that video again. I'll post a link to it. All right. That's a, that's a great example of light work through the arts. So, this dude, yeah, has a uh, YouTube channel. Okay. And he used to carry around a video camera. He's like, uh, around my age. Uh, I don't know this guy. He used to carry around a video camera and just videotape everything back in the day. Like, imagine if you had one of your friends. I graduated in 93. Uh, imagine if one of your friends like carried around a video camera obsessively all the time and you had the footage. Yeah, well, he shows it. He put it together and uh, in a way that makes you realize... Uh, a lot of our divine masculines may find some comfort in watching it because back in the day, the I am a piece of shit vibe uh, was big amongst the flannel wearers, the seminary of lumberjacks. Yes, I am a piece of shit. I'm unworthy. Uh, yeah, and spirit wants that vibe to be released. Uh huh. There may have been some sort of thing, some sort of something. That happened, you may have felt like an outcast, uh, left out, that kind of thing. Yeah. Mm hmm. And now the tables have turned. Look at you. Yeah. Hot shit card right here. Yeah. Triumphant person. Mm hmm. All right. So, especially if you identify as divine masculine, it's important to watch. Oh, that video of Lane going through his old binder. All right. The King of Wands. This masculine is activated, passionate, excited. All right. This is an artistic person. This person may like to draw. They may like film. Uh, they may like horror movies. They may like old movies. They may like history. They may like aviation. Uh, Amelia Earhart. Uh, they may like science, forensics, that kind of thing. Okay, so we have the scientist that created the ferocious mutant half ape, half rat. Tell me more. Tell me more. Right? Somebody may have dealt with someone who did a lot of coke. Okay. New transmission. Okay. I'm looking at this. Okay. Let's just look at this. Uh -huh. It is inhabited by one of the scariest creatures on the planet.
The coconut crab. I will show myself compassion today. This masculine is ascending in vibration. He set his eye on the prize. All right. It's this compassionate uh, flower from the secret garden. All right. The corpse flower. All right. Uh huh. My goth girlfriend put on elaborate display. I'm so fucking turned on. All right. They'll eat pigs. They'll eat each other. They'll even eat themselves. Prolific climbers. Mm -hmm. Scorpio, look at this. You just jumped on doing the work. Pisces, are you up for a new experience? Yes, I am worthy of feeling. Aries, yes. Mm -hmm. Keep looking for all those synchronicities. They do mean something. Yes, you've tried to talk yourself out of everything. Yes, but Spirit is saying there's somebody with a lot of ambition. Yes, somebody may go to someone's home. Hmm. Get to the coconuts. Climb up and grab birds. Drag them into underground burrows. There it is again. Look at the flower. Look at you guys. There's so many different ones. I deserve love, compassion, and empathy. You hear that, King of Swords? Mm hmm. Okay, I just looked at portals to the mind. Where they will eat them too. They can smell blood. Thousands of others swarm. <laughs> I deserve love and happiness. Oh, it's her, the honey bunny. Get in on the action. And transmission, high priest. I am grateful for what I can do. We have a high priest here, yeah. He found his counterpart. A high priestess honey bunny. Yep. She's cute as a button. All right. Both of these people. Uh-huh. This masculine may be bringing in compassion and empathy and love and happiness for her. He's totally pumped about this whole thing. He's grateful for what he can do. This person may be uh famous strong in what they do something like that all right this person has turned over a new leaf all right. okay uh-huh and they want to do this thing they found their empress their divine counterpart this person is a nurturer she's a honey bunny yeah all right all right this is a mother figure All right. Yeah, look at Spirit's bringing in the Ten of Pentacles. Contentment. Wonderful. These people did the work, okay? Here they're coming in. Spirit's got your back, man. All right, I want to take a final from the universe has your back, okay? Tell us about the Ten of Pentacles. I feel motivated and I'm moving in the direction of my dreams. Contentment, Ten of Pentacles, Jackpot, Wonderful Mental Health, In Your Divine Purpose, With Your Divine Counterpart, Creating, Releasing, uh-huh, 
In every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right-minded thinking in the energy of love. All right, we have an activated Divine Masculine here. Yes. All right, so we have to remember, Spirit is constantly working with us. They're constantly, Spirit, Source, God, Ancestors, whatever you call it, is constantly trying to help you. Yes, and if you're doing the work, yeah, this masculine has realized it. Yeah, he's ready to claim it's the big banana. Yeah, this masculine may have to ascend in some mental health issues, some self-esteem issues, something like that. They did. Now they're feeling amazing. Yeah, because they saw the big banana walk on by. Yeah, they said, all right, I'll try to pull the sword out of the stone. They went up. Uh -huh. Oh my God, it moves a little bit. Yeah, what? Yeah, I'm here to claim the big banana. Yeah. So this empress, mm-hmm, that did the work, yeah, uh, spirit may have lined up a bunch of uh, staircases, now think of staircases that are constantly moving to line up energy, we have to remember people do, uh, uh-huh, I call them mermaid, people do uh, practice free will, yeah, they may not make the best choices, yep, so, a super awesome, uh-huh, divine, spiritually guided staircase may have lined up to them. They may have said, oh, wait, those are my dreams? Hmm. Let me sit and think on it for a while. Yeah, all right. Got to think about it. All right. Vivid dreaming, dream messages, dream teaching. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Meanwhile, this empress, yeah, her starseed work is badly needed, okay, to start, yeah, is sitting on the stairway saying, you're going to jump on? Uh-huh, this is the person, yeah, that has, it. yeah, they're right at, right at the train station, the train is here and it's going, yeah, yeah, it's starting to move, yeah, so... If the person just sits there and says, okay, yeah, there's my dream. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything. Spirit's not going to let this empress just sit here and wait for this person to decide if they want to live their dream life or not. No, they're going to move the staircase. They're going to move the train. Yeah. And they're going to line it up with somebody else. Yeah. And then when this person decides to get their stuff together, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, spirit might, yeah, align them with somebody else, yeah, may not be the empress, no, maybe a page, something, yeah, who knows, this dude, yeah, has realized, yeah, oh my fucking god, yeah, I'm here for the empress, the big banana, yeah, I accept, that I had the death and the rebirth. Mm hmm. I'm here with gratitude. Yes. There's some choices that I'm going to give. Somebody may say, hey, you want to come to my house, my studio, my thing, my whatever. Yeah. They've been working hard, watching healing, ascending, the little white dove deals with narcissist abuse, yeah, and somehow she brought in the ace of swords and the anchor of hope, all right, get in on the action, thank you universe for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perceptions so that I can see what is of the highest good. What was that? So I can see what is of the highest good. Get in on the action. All right, there you go. Peace out, love ya. Starseed transmissions will be down in the comments, so make sure you cruise the comments for the second part of your message. All right, peace out, love ya.